I'm a dangerous and deadly holiday weekend all across the U.S. Tonight, dozens of shootings are being investigated nationwide. Here in Chicago alone, at least two dozen people have been shot since Friday. Two people killed. Among those hurt, four teenagers between 17 and 19 years old who were shot outside of a Subway restaurant last night. Good news is they're going to be okay. Elsewhere in the Midwest, a 12-year-old little girl was shot in Cleveland while walking near her home around 11 o'clock Saturday morning, broad daylight. Police say she was shot in the arm and was taken to the hospital in serious condition. So far, no word on any suspects. Also, police in Houston are investigating a deadly nine club shooting there. Two people killed, two hurt after shots were fired inside that club early this morning. Investigators are trying to confirm the gunman is one of the men who died and that he was shot by an off duty sheriff's deputy who was working security at the club. And now to Miami-Dade County. Two people there killed, 21 hurt early Sunday morning outside of a banquet hall. And tonight, new surveillance video shows three people getting out of that SUV near the scene. They walk away, but they return a short time later, jump in that same vehicle, and then just take off. And with more on this, investigators found that SUV today, they found that SUV today eight miles from the shooting scene underwater in a canal. Police say that car had been reported stolen about two weeks ago. Joining me now to talk about this latest tragedy in Miami-Dade County is Ken Russell, Miami City Commissioner. Ken, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Rob. Are we any closer to suspects or arrests in that banquet hall shooting? One where two were killed and 21 hurt. Yes, I'm not able to speak to the exact leads that the Miami-Dade County Police have with this issue. I'm with the city of Miami, and one of the misconceptions is that uh, when you say Miami, it's really all of South Florida. Um, as a city Miami commissioner, we've had some of our own shootings recently that we're dealing with, uh, but there are 34 municipalities in Miami-Dade County. This banquet hall shooting happened in Hialeah, and the Miami-Dade County Police are handling that one. And bigger picture question here, when you see some of the headlines about violence playing out there in your community, counties or, or city, uh, obviously it's, it speaks to a bigger problem regardless of, of jurisdiction. What's the root cause of it as you see it? Well, gun violence and the, and the epidemic of gun violence is very deeply rooted in our country and our history. But 2019 for the city of Miami was a 50 year low in homicide. That's, that's lower crime, lower homicide rate and in my entire lifetime, something happened during 2020. Gun sales nationwide increased, crime, major crime increased across the country. People are really pent up from the, the lockdowns. They're back out again. Uh, but beyond that, something happened to our country in terms of the rhetoric and how we deal with each other. Um, our police department is telling me that a lot of these crimes are fueled uh, by things that started online, for example. Uh, and so the access, easy access to guns, uh, people getting out and having a lot of energy after the pandemic uh, and a lot of this really polarized rhetoric that, that that's, uh, brings people to really uh, uh, hard positions um, is, has fueled a lot of this. And what can we do about it? Well, in the city of Miami, we issued an initiative on May 15th called the Gun Violence Reduction Summer Initiative. Uh, we increased 135 additional officers in the five hot spots of the city statistically where we're seeing these crime issues. Uh, we also have a bicycle response team, 20 to 25 officers on bicycles uh, in some of these neighborhoods, which are harder to navigate by cars. They can get around really quickly. Uh, just having a really strong presence. Uh, the Miami, uh, Miami, City Miami Police Department is, is on, on top of this, so, so neighbors should feel very confident. Are you at all worried that what we saw this week, and obviously we all know this is the unofficial start to summer, do you have concerns that this is going to be a particularly violent summer in your area as well as nationwide just because of the pent-up frustration related to COVID? Economically, people are hurting, uh, finding a job, the stress of getting through all of this, and just this crush of people now kind of getting back to normal, normal life is just this, the beginning of what could be a tough summer all around the country? I'm, I'm hoping this is holiday uh, uh, energy that's gone in a wrong direction in a bad way. Um, I, I'm hoping that the summer is not like this. Honestly, it's a big frustration. Memorial Day is, is the day we're supposed to be honoring those who have given their lives in war uh, and serving this country. Instead, we're investigating those who have died needlessly from senseless gun violence. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping that this is a, a, a hot spot moment uh, and that we're going to be seeing a safer summer. Mm. Certainly hope you're right. Thank you so much for giving us a few minutes. We appreciate your time. Enjoy the rest of the holiday weekend. You as well.